How do you do, everybody? My name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Bayonetta 3 Trilogy. Playing the story mode to understand the lore from 1, 2, 3. And we are back in the gates of Hall. Really curious what. Coming soon, Zor? There's a lot left. And I mean, Platinum Tig is 10 million. I, that's, uh, uh, that's a. That, that is a long way to go. Holy. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Platinum ticket. A platinum plate equivalent in value to the number of halos needed to restore the heavenly powers of the fallen angel. Rodan, if you were to hand this over to him. Okay, so Rodan. Okay, so Rodan. Rodan is an angel that, well, fell from heaven, it seems. And then to restore his heavenly powers, adding on top of his demonic powers. He 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 must be a super overpowered. He must be ridiculously super strong. <laughs> like, oh no! I just realized I haven't. I never really used any of these. It's. It's like uh, it's, it's like saving all those um elixirs and stuff just <laughs> for the final boss, and then saying you you're gonna save save you're gonna save the uh, you can't waste them, <laughs> and you you're just gonna yeah, it's gonna save for the next game, <laughs> which is technically what I'm doing, and uh. If you haven't noticed, uh, I don't have my webcam. I am still uh, sick. Um, I thought uh, today would be better. I would feel better, but uh, eating it, yeah, it just caused my stomach to uh, be be, a, be be quite worse. So uh, had some good old ginger ale to uh, you know relieve my my stomach. And hopefully, um, you know, it'll get better soon. I really want to eat, you know, some yummy foods. But I, um, I mean, I will turn on the uh, camera if I have to uh, say anything. But, but yeah. Um, also, uh, before we actually uh, start the episode, I want to uh, thank the Magikarp Gamer Carp for being a member on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, the Magikarp Gamer Carp, for uh, being a member and staying a member uh, to support me. Thank you so much. And you're also um, noted down in the description below. Thank you again, the Magikarp Gamer Carp. Alright, let's leave the gates of Hall. Chapter 16 Bayonetta's First Climax with Sovereign Power I really love the uh the scythe is so good. Look 
What is this place? We're in my time. But there's not a moment to explain. We need to get to the sacred mountain now. What is upon the mountain? I don't know. But it's where the god who created the eyes of the world once lived. And now someone is after that power. And the eyes. How can we reach that place? We are in Vigrid. Time to jump! Jump? That wasn't a request. Go! Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our kind. And your kind are? The kind of witches you don't fuck with. I have to admit, I like you much better this way, Balder. You actually shut up and follow directions. Hmm. I do what I choose. Tell me, how do you know my name? Uh, um, it's, uh, just the name I heard that witch, the one you called Rosa, call out to you. Anyway, this should get us to Fimblevender at mock speed. <laughs> that face, that that face, that pain that it gave. Uh, 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 uh I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, yeah, the, the witch said it. Okay, so I'm, so, okay, so I'm, I'm a little confused here. Okay, so is is this boulder a second boulder? Like, did we just take the boulder from the past? And brought him to the future, or or is this the same boulder that fought us? Because because I mean, the reason reason I ask is because uh, is there two boulders now, or or is there one? One boulder, because, because also he did ask, how does he know? How does you know Bayonetta know his name? But, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, he wouldn't ask that if he, you know, if he knew how she, because didn't the prophet say his name? Or, or, and, or showed the, uh, his, the vision and stuff? So, I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, let's just continue. It's breaking my my brain, and and also it's a little Cereza stone this timeline. I don't know, like what's going on. I would not be so sure of that, witch. My my, angels and demons working together. I suppose if they can get along, we can as well. Hmm. Consider this a momentary truce, at least until the encroachers are punished. Well, that's one way of putting it. Here's mine. Time to tango. What is this? Evade incoming enemies and head to the mountain. E evade. Yeah, okay. Cal calibrated. Shoot, shoot, blade, slash, sl hold, slash, uh, ear, descend, right. Okay, um. Okay. Ready, oh my gosh. I'm literally spamming the, the Y and X button. <laughs> Shoot faster. What's this? Oh. Guys, it's very tiring. Oh, I just wasted it. That's great. So close. Almost. Got you. Pretty cool. The uh, slashing. Really like.
literally just the uh, boulders um, attack and then uh, the bullets are, well, bayoneted. Pretty cool. This the boss already? Oh, she ducks. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then he ducks. I wonder how co-op is like, because if... Wait, there's co-op story mode, right? It's not just the, the co-op tag mode thing, right? I think? I don't know, actually. I thought it was a co-op story mode as well. Yeah, it, it's tiring to, um... So close. Spam both buttons. I'm just gonna spam one button. Wow, Enemy hi. Down. Oh. Is that all you've got? So close. Dang, that's, that's insane. Comes back. Yes. Oh, it's the demon's time. Wait, I, I thought they were working together. I, why didn't they attack together? Oh, is this where I'm supposed to actually use boulder? Because they're close, they're close range? Never mind. I can't, I can't use both. I can't use boulder and uh, bayonetta together. I'd be overpowered to be honest. The close range and long range battle or attack. Some sick music though. Is this the, 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 uh, so close. Manta Ray that's been following us this whole time? It looks really cool though. I was about to say, did I break it or not? <laughs> Oh. What? Did I beat it? What? Did I hit it? Can I spam it? Oh, I can. You've been naughty. Ugh, this piggyback ride is killing my back. Wait. Wait, so... Oh, 
Okay, so re real like real question here. Does Bowder even know what Cereza looks like or Bayonetta looks like now? Like I, I like I I I kind of I can see that, you know, he most likely like knows. Um like he he you know most likely has been there when uh, Cereza was a little girl right like the little Cereza, but I I mean there has to be a there 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 is a I'm pretty sure there has to be like a period of time where he was taken away from Cereza right because uh you know Bayonetta stayed with you know Rosa the the mother but. So that must have been at a young age because because he doesn't know what Bayonetta looks like now, right? Like, like I, I mean, he should. I, I mean, even even though you know, like his daughter, you know, his 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 little daughter, like should at least like kind of you know know kind of picture, you know what. Cereza looks like grown up, right? I I think I would I would I'd assume so, maybe. I mean, uh, Rosa uh, like knew immediately who uh, you know who uh, Bayonetta was when she uh, first saw her. I mean, because I mean she just you know looks a bit older or different, but you know she's the you know same daughter that you know. She, uh, that's been by her side the whole time. It must suck though that Boulder was separated from Cereza. Oh man. Because yeah, then yeah, you, even when he asked like how does how does she know his name? It's like Yeah. But then John Near the end, why why did she uh stop herself and call her and call Bayonetta Cereza? Hmm. Okay, let's just continue. Sorry. <laughs> why can't you be an adorable little Cerezita that weighs like ten pounds? See? Wait, she's still here? At least your little good luck charm got me where I needed to go, right? <sighs> We're here, kid. Right on the front door of that temple you were so damn determined to get to. Not sure if they're gonna roll out the red carpet for us. Uh... Hi. Wrong one, mate. You should be looking for your better half. <laughs> You've got your memories back. Convenient. But you're certainly not looking like my better half. The only thing you have to offer me is your sovereign power. Then you will be truly worthless. Wait, 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 wait. It ju it just clicked. It it just clicked. That's the other half of Loki. That 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 old dude right there. The the one floating. That that old dude. Loki went into the future, right? Loki went into the future. The, the 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 little one the little, the little one uh went to the future right but this evil look uh loki uh well you know went through 500 years so i mean that kind of you know makes sense except i never you know you know i, I never connected that 
I guess that's why there was a scene, remember, um, when we first meet the masked Lumen? The first fight? Remember when uh, the little one's hood got knocked back? And then we see his hair, or his hair and his, I guess, his uh, tattoo on his forehead. I, I, I always wondered, like, what was the whole point of that? Like, did, the, did his dreadlocks uh, have any meaning to it? Like, I didn't understand. But, uh, from the, but, um, now I, I yeah, now I, uh, well, clicked it together that, it, I think it was, yeah, the tattoo on their, on their foreheads. Because, uh, I think, yeah, Bayonetta also said, um, remember the, uh, the marking. Which is why I'm kind of confused if that's the actual border that was in this time, in this time, or, or, the, or, or, or the, or he went back in time and then, or, or did we just take him out of time? I'm confused. I'm so confused. All right, let's continue. Ready? I'll take care of them, Teresa. Hurry to the temple. <laughs> Wait, she's gonna fight them in, in her jet? The Sacred Mountain Symbol Venture. What are you doing? This way. I'm, I'm collecting stuff, jeez, calm down. Interesting. He's, he's so much faster than me, what the heck? What do you mean we must hurry and then you're, you're staying still? Oh, no, he's... Oh, never mind. Okay, wait. Go, go, go. Alright, fine. Oh. There's like a boss door. Welcome to Fimble Venter. The Lumen Sage, right eye of the Overseer. Wait. Maybe that's why he had to go to Fimble Venter. Because for 500 years, the, the, the evil half kept pushing memories. They're pushing memories into, uh, or for, trying to force memories into this Loki because he went into the future. So technically, the memories are kind of catching up to him, right? In 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 a way, catching up to the little one. So I, I think, yeah, I think that's why uh, he had to, like he, you know, he had to go to Fimble Venture, no matter what, because. It's like his memories, you know, have been split. So it's like his memories are catching up, I think. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to somehow make sense out of all this, uh, this, this bizarre timeline stuff that, that's, that's not making sense. That doesn't really, you know, uh, make a lot of sense, you know. The Umbra Witch. Okay, I need a need a do a little uh Yeah, so I had to do a little reset. Left eye of the overseer. Now everything has fallen into place. Uh, Bayonetta! Get out of uh. Older. This is what I promised you. Your chance at revenge. Accept it freely. Okay, see, this is what I mean. I'm confused. Is this the boulder? Is this the boulder in this time? Or, or is this the boulder in the past that was brought to this time? 
I mean, it has to be from the the border that was that was in the past that was brought to this time because what well, that's the only thing that makes sense because because he asked where are we right that, that that's that that that's the only thing that makes sense. If he was the one from this time, he wouldn't ask what where where are we or you know. See, this is why I'm I'm I'm, I'm confused now. I'm super confused. Wait, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna let it play out. Because I think I know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, Bayonetta did say, remember the marking. That is your revenge? Is this not the one who destroyed your world? Who destroyed your life? That was you, you dummy. Surely this can't be all you hoped to see. Where did that stop? Okay, I don't want to interrupt anymore. This is cool. The two of us were once a single being. Yeah, no duh. However, this half said he would awaken humans to the truth of their existence. So he divided our divine power and our very souls in two. We should have become mere shells. But this half left behind a certain power within himself in order to protect the balance our split brought the world. A sovereign power to freely control the eyes of the world. Wait, does this marking have an infin infinite sign? Unfortunately, this one made quite the miscalculation. He had not accounted for the power of evil intent which grew as humans prospered. I couldn't use the sovereign power to control the eyes, so instead, I used the evil hearts of humans to begin to retrieve the power of the ancient god. Wait, doesn't that mean you're evil? And all that remained is taking back the one power I do not yet have. The sovereign power. The power this one held within. You managed to escape 500 years before, but it was merely a waiting game. Waiting for you to be reborn. Wait, what do you mean? Now the time has come for our powers to become one again, and for me to ascend to the throne as Aesir, God. Of chaos. <laughs> now, my better half, it is time to restore your sovereign power to my hands. I now have the power to control the eyes as I wish. Shall I start oh. from the right eye? Take him if it pleases you. He is nothing but an empty container to me now. I have no more use for him. Come now. It is time I receive your power, witch. Don't worry, I got the kid. You got my permission to show him your stuff, Bayonetta. <laughs> what on earth was that? <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, what? What do you mean? Wait, aren't you the prophet? Hold on, aren't you the prophet? 
<laughs> what do you mean? How did you not see this? All right, how did you not see another guy coming? Even I didn't see it. I mean, you're the prophet. You should have seen it. I mean, you're, what do you mean? Who on who on earth was that? <laughs> I mean, if you, if you couldn't see Luca coming a mile away, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you, you're not, I don't think you're, you know, I don't think you, uh, you deserve the, uh, the eyes of the world. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you, you know, I don't think you're, you're, uh, you're an actual prophet. I'm pretty sure you're a false prophet at this point. I mean, if you didn't see him, I, if you didn't see him coming, I, I, I don't, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> this, this, this dummy prophet is a dummy. Just some fool always swinging in out of nowhere, albeit with absolutely impeccable timing. I suppose not even a god can see him coming. Are you? Are you serious? I I had to I only I had to wait a, a little bit. I had to wait. I had to wait longer. I had, to, I had to only wait a little bit longer and she would have said the same thing I already said. Oh, But it's okay, I said it first though, that's funny though. Oh, see? Bad, bad prophet, bad. Gods do not concern themselves with the machinations of insects. Uh huh. Now, Umbra Witch. The left eye of darkness must return from whence it came. Then just try to take it back. You've destroyed more than you know. Wait, isn't... Isn't, isn't the eyes... Isn't the eyes of the world from Jubileus? I thought it was. I am untouchable. What do you mean you're untouchable? I'm attacking you right now, you dummy. What a bad prophet this prophet is. Is that all you've got? Yeah, he needs to dress better. I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to see what's under that. Uh, that that cloth he, he has. That, this this like trans. Translucent cloth that you know he's only wearing this entire 500 years, right? Like, I, I'm pretty sure no one wants to see that. In the end, you are merely human. The eyes of the world hold power, but their power came from that of a god. Yeah, Jubileus, right? The creator? This god will see those powers returned. Wait, what? I thought Jubileus... You're not Jubileus. Are you? Right. And so it shall be. Honest, on, honest, real question. All right, B bad guys. I understand. Bad guys are sociopaths. They, they, or I, I, actually, I don't know which one it is. The sociopath or the psychopath? I, I, it gets confusing at times. Where they like to see their victims suffer, you know, like kind of taunt them. Kind of like, you know, all of that, but like... I mean, to be honest, like... I mean, I've always had this, like, thought, right? Like, I, or, 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 you know, thought process of, like... If, if these... If these enemies of yours are... Are bother are bothersome the whole time you're you're trying to do something that, that, or gets in your way the whole time. Why don't you just you know you know 
you know, uh, off, you know, off them, you know. I, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like you know, in in the in those movies or, or TV shows or you know, or yeah, games and stuff. It's like, I mean, okay, I understand it's it, it's uh, okay. It, I understand it's like the game plot point and all that stuff. But I mean, in in general, it's usually like it, it's like. If, I feel like it's common sense, right? Like, if, if they're always in your way, I just, it just, you know, I, like, you know, if you got rid of them, you know, no one will actually be able to stop you, right? I, I'm just saying, just, I don't know, it just, it just baffles me. It baffles me so much. Like, it's like Lex Luthor, <laughs> never, never able to, n never actually, you know, uh, uh, you know, getting Superman <laughs> kind of thing, you know? I don't know. It, it just, it just, it always crossed my mind. Just like anytime, like these bad guys always get their, get what they want or need. And then they just never finish like any of the, the supposed jobs, right? The power of Aesir returns to me, and I shall rule over this world as time demands it. Wait, you're... Wait, you're the god Aesir? God of Chaos Aesir. God. To be the overseer of this world. To rule it. A power only meant for Aesir. Those two blades, I'm confused now. Human free will is a joke. It is a worthless illusion. You need only obey me. My will shall become that of the universe. Humans need not be told what their will shall be. We can create our world with our own eyes. Yeah, you tell him Sephiroth. An indulgent statement of human folly. Sephiroth from another timeline. Do you have any idea how much turmoil and confusion you have created? We may not see our next step. We may stumble. We may fall off the path. Wait, I'm so okay. I'm I'm so confused. A Aesir, it's Aesir, right? A Aesir, or the prophet, Aesir, literally just contradicted himself. He, he literally just said, uh, human decision is an illusion. But, but then he literally just stated, like, we're just mere insects and, kind, and stuff, kind of, Kind of proving that it's not an illusion, right? Yeah, I, I, I mean, right? It, like he, he, like if he just said like it wouldn't like it doesn't matter what you know what you do, like what you do now kind of thing then you know because you know then he's kind of uh, was it um, omnipotent no not, uh, uh, omnis omniscient right omniscient is, is that is that it or is that omnipotent i forgot which one that that knows what's you know about to happen and stuff but it's like you know it's just saying that you know the, the, your mere incest kind of validates that it's not really the free will is not an illusion kind of thing right if he said it didn't matter what you do, then it kind of validates what he said before. You know? I don't know, maybe I'm just really overthinking the, this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. We're only in the second game. But we always move forward. That is the power of man. And what man? Bayonetta, shall we illustrate? Yes, yeah, Zebra. Let's rock. Almost. Got you. 
Wait, so what kind of power? Like, like whose power is? I, are those hands that come out? Like, are those just his powers? Because. <laughs> oh my god. Bart is just jumping this whole time. My Oh my gosh, I hate this guy. I'm just oh those feathers Wait. He, he caught he caught human insects and he summons airships? Are you serious? Why, why did he summon airships? If, if he if he really thought we were insects and everything, why did he summon airships? Don't he have summoned something more cosmic or something? I don't I don't know. Something better than that. I don't, right? I, mm. It's 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 confusing. Look at all those uh, marbles. So close. Almost. Got you. Bingo. Did you just summon a satellite? Did you just summon the Hammer of Dawn? That's another human technology. What the heck? Why? Why did? Okay, I, I don't know. It's, this guy is an oxymoron. He's kind of he's contradicting himself. No, he's a, he's a contradiction. That's, that's that's what I mean. He's a, he just he keeps contradicting himself. He's a. We were in he, humans are insects when he summons the, the hammer of dawn. Summons airships. And it, man, this uh this chainsaw really does, does a lot of damage. Oh. That was close. Is that all you can now? Another human thing? Oh, oh my. Oh, oh. Wait, is this an actual satellite? Yeah, this is a satellite, right? No, it's a space station. I don't know what this is. Spaceship? Why do we explode in space? I'm an idiot. Someone, someone, something cosmic or something. At least something that you know, you know, is uh, you know, powerful or cool. But he summon, he's he only summon like human stuff. Is, is, are you gonna summon more things? Come on. I'm just bored about the way they just get blasted away <laughs> just from, from the Hammer of Dawn. Kid, you gonna be okay? His first mistake was thinking that all I had to me was some shit sovereign power. Stupid fool doesn't get why I'm the better half. Yeah, if you thought you were all out of cards. Wait, didn't he give you a card? The real trump card's the one you keep hitting until just the right timing, mate. Yeah, the one that he gave you, right? <laughs> Luga. Black hole. What? The real power of Lord Aesir, the god of chaos, is nothingness. Wait, why is Luca holding him back? The power to erase anything and everything from the world. Even the very eyes that created it. No! Whoa, hold on for a second, kid. What happens to the world if you... Any good card player is a gambler, right? Either the world will be destroyed, 
or it will create its own path. <laughs> That's not a good Human answer. Human free will will determine which way things go. Oh, okay. You worthless. Wait, I, th I thought you were the better half, Prophet. What happened? <laughs> what a what this idiot. Wait, I didn't know Lumen Tattoo. I was just do that stuff. Summon whatever that thing is. Wait, is that wait is that Rosa? Or or like a <laughs> dive kick? <laughs> dive kick. Wait, is Jean's clothes made of hair or no? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna draw him. <laughs> Wee! That heart, dude. That heart. Hundred thousand, holy! If it comes to this. It will just begin anew. Huh? A return to another place in time. Create a new era. One that cowers to my will. Why didn't you do that in the beginning? Shit! He's trying to shed his body and return to the spirit realm. He'll uh. just be reborn in a different era. Why didn't he? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Do you think you can contain my power? Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our kind. You will never see another era trapped inside me. Only an endless circle of time. Mate, that's pure evil you're dealing with. It's a poison that will live inside you forever. Then, so be it. What's wrong can be made right through human hands. Wait, is this how Sephiroth becomes Olga! evil? Seresa, listen to me. Wait. You, you know my name? Hey, that's my line. If I stray from my path, you must be the one. The one to stop me. Boulder! Seresa, just one time. Call me. Daddy. Daddy? Daddy. Oh my god, <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Thank you, Sir Asa. Okay, I, I know I know it's supposed to be a touching moment, alright. I know it's supposed to be a touching moment, but... Okay, come on. You know, call, call me Daddy. There, Nada. Call me Daddy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it would have... I mean... It would have been much better if you know he said to call him father or or something, right? I'm I, I'm I mean I mean I mean you know at at this you know you know it, right now you know that daddy means a whole different thing, you know, in, in uh, some uh, corners of you know. Of uh, humanity, I, I'm just saying. I mean, that 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 thing, that 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 brings a whole different meaning. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Well, let's continue this uh, heartfelt moment. My dear, sweet child. Daddy! Wait, why did he go into the? Different era. Like, what? Why? What? Huh? Why didn't he? Why didn't he? What? 
Seems like the world's still in one piece. Seems so. You don't need the eyes of the world, love. I believe in your kind. You can create whatever future you desire. Which? What will happen to you? I'll just take a little break. This world doesn't need me anymore, right? Will I see you again? Hard to say. I'll come back to this world someday. So if you're lucky, maybe we'll meet again, love. Little one, I... I'm not little, and I have a name. It's Aesir. I mean, my name is Loki. And I think you can quit treating me like a kid now. Then I'll call you by your name when I see you again. As a man. Bloody hell. Wait, what does that mean that... When he comes back to this world... Does he mean like a different planet? Is he going to a different planet? Is he going to a different universe? Is he going to a different era? Like, I don't know how this time travel thing works in, in Bayonetta universe, all right? I, it kind of feels like Back to the Future kind of, uh, you know, time travel but at the same time it's like it, it's also like string theory as well like a, like multiverse because is little Cereza still here and we brought boulder from a from the past into the future but there's another boulder here i think uh, well, that's fine, I guess. At least I know what I want to be when I grow up, right? Is here? See you around, Bayonetta. Goodbye, little one. And you can call me Cereza. Sorry, love. But you still don't strike me as a Cereza. I don't get that meaning. I don't understand that meaning behind that. Why, why did she say that? A new dress. The sales are so much better after the holidays. And the distinct lack of acts of God doesn't hurt either. Can you believe they tore my dress to shreds? Right about here, I think it was. Absolutely criminal. There's such a thing as a time and a place. Time. Oh. Why does it sound like a... Like they're in a surround sound. Or a bathroom. Or use your witch times, get it. Oh, never mind. Cereza, cat got your tongue? No. No. I'm fine. Hey, come on. How long do I have to keep doing this? Investigative journalism is big in January. Hey, wait, wait. The gates of hell goes down. And so does your anonymous source, my friend. Yes. Now keep driving. All right, all right, I get it. I owe you. But I'm not the one with the endless tab. Where is that deadbeat anyway? Wait. <laughs> well, those two 
are getting along nicely. Now, to get those new heels. Come along, Endo. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Damn it. I forgot Enzo. Me too. <laughs> I was wondering why there wasn't a short, foul-mouthed Italian in earshot. Where did you leave him? He said. Where did you leave him? He'd wait for me in the plane. Wait, how long did you leave him in the plane? Oh. Again? What a day! What a day! Wonderful. That's the second dress in a month. Another day in the life, Cereza. Maybe you should try being nice to Enzo for a change. <laughs> and let's save the chit chat for later. We've got work to do. Now you're speaking my language. There's only one way to ring in the new year. Dance, boys. All right. That was awesome. I got it. Uh oh. Wait. What if? What if I get? Oh, skulls. What happened? I didn't know I could get a skull. Yeah, yeah, th yeah, this fight. This is what I was talking about when, um, when, uh, when the little one, uh, lo uh, you know, his hood got pushed back, and then we saw his, uh, face or his hair. I thought it was, his I thought it was the hair that they were kind of focusing on. I was kind of confused. But then, but then again, kind of just um, showcasing like showcasing. Uh, I mean, uh, showing what the um, like showing is forehead. It didn't really like help understand much right I'm really excited for the third game now because I I, I really want to know what the combos are, what the uh, move sets are, what the uh, characters are, what the um, what everything is because oh I'm so excited now I'm super excited. Can't skip this right.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, this is the last one because this is where we left off. Except... <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this on purpose because I really want to see what would happen if I got all the skulls. I don't know if it means and if it does anything. But that skull looks scary though. Okay. I'm pretty sure this 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 song is most likely uh copyrighted because the other song from the first game was kind of copyrighted, I I think, but I, I skipped it immediately. Sorry, steps. Wait, this is what happens if I got skulls? Oh, this is this is how Sephiroth was born. I knew it. I thought it was a leaf. Oh, that's how Sephiroth is born. <laughs> I knew it. This is Sephiroth in a from a different timeline. <laughs> oh, oh. Not that bad, I guess. Oh. Oh. Congratulations! I just imagined the uh, the Super Smash Bros. Uh, announcer. Congratulations! Right? Uh, this is a big mural. The giant wallpaper. Hold. Oh, never mind. Okay. And that is it. For the Bayonetta 2. Whoa. Yeah, I think Moon River, the song, is actually copyrighted. Holy, 2013? Oh my gosh. What's this?
anyways. I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. I'm going to end the finale episode here for Bayonetta 2. Well, actually, Bayonetta 3 Trilogy's Bayonetta 2 game. Because now we are on the third game, which is, again, the trilogy. That's why, that's why I, I uh, titled the, um, the playlist, or the, the playthrough titles. The, uh, trilogy, because I'm playing all three games, I'm not, I'm not lying. Why would I trick every, why, why, would I, why, why, why sorry, <laughs> why would I trick anybody? It's, there's no point. I'm getting the game when it's released, so, yeah. So anyways, it should be actually, uh, soon. I should, I should probably check the, uh, ma mailbox. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode and the finale of Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta 3, we'll find out and see for ourselves what new boss I'm, I'm again guessing Jubileus. I, I haven't seen the trailers or any of the gameplay or anything from the game yet. So, uh, Jubileus. Um, I think it's Jubileus. Uh, probably also using uh, Balder slash uh, Aesir probably as well. As like a, a secondary in command boss probably. This is just my um, speculation. Again... I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't gone on uh, to any social media or anything. I haven't seen anything. So this is all just me thinking through. Um, but other than that, I don't know what else uh, would be the the boss of the um, third game. I again, I think it's actually it. I, it has to be um, Jubileus. It has to be. There's, there's no other. Uh, there's no other enemy like. A boss that's like, na that's that's like been uh, name thrown around at all that I can remember. So anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button, subscribe down below for more awesome videos, don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.